how world leaders are reacting as President Putin reclaims Crimea as part of Russia, brushing aside international condemnation. Ebru's Tasmin Mafuz is live now at the United Nations with details. Tasmin, how are world leaders hoping to punish Russia's takeover of the Crimean region? Well, Logan, President Putin is clearly not going to go down without a fight. And today, after his signing ceremony, world powers immediately imposed more than 30 sanctions against Moscow officials. And that's not all. They're also isolating Russia against global meetings. World powers condemned Russia's intervention in Ukraine, initiating visa bans and suspending global talks. It wasn't easy to put sanctions in place. We didn't aim for this. We want talks and a diplomatic solution, but international rights were violated. G8 countries like France, U.S. and the U.K. are suspending preparations for the G8 summit, scheduled in Sochi this June. Italy said EU sanctions will be enforced for six months. It is clear that sanctions damage everyone. We have common values within the European Union and we want to respect them and hold them high. Japan canceled bilateral agreements on military exercises and investments. It is regretful that Russia's recognition of the independence of Crimea interferes with the integrity of Ukraine's sovereignty and territory. We cannot overlook Russia's attempt to change the status quo by force. <laughs> Vice President Joe Biden is in Europe to discuss the next steps for the U.S. and their allies, including modernizing the Polish army and reducing their dependence on Russian natural gas. We've joined Poland and the international community in condemning the continuing assault on Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity and the blatant the blatant violation of international law by Mr. Putin and Russia. And Russia fuels more than a third of Europe. So now EU nations will definitely need to find other options. And President Putin, well, he's already calling Crimea an inseparable part of Russia. And Ukrainians, well, they say they fear for their future. Logan. All right, Tasmin Mafuz reporting live tonight from the United Nations. Thanks so much for that report.